Dear Season Prep, I've had this new bow in a box for the last two months now. I got it end of May. It's now end of July. I bought the new Matthews V3X 29 and I'm really excited about this bow and need to get it set up. Oh, there she is. Look at that. Bridge lock sight technology, and I don't even have a bridge lock sight. I'm gonna put on my regular HHA Tetra. But now if I want a dovetail for the bridge lock, I can definitely do that. Dude, this thing is light. I like that pink and speckle to us, that pink and gray. That's cool. What do you think of that, granite, 29? That thing looks sick. Just now pulling up to Shields after a 40 or so minute drive from Rice Lake. Actually meeting Waylon here, he had called me after I filmed that first part and he was getting his triac set up and now we got to do a big conversation about aerial flight, what helical we need for our fletchings and we were going to be shooting dirt nap single bevels but Matthews tends to, when you shoot your arrow out of the bow, it spins and rotates left so he was going to get a left helical to you know, keep that spin really good but the single bevels we have are beveled on the right side so it doesn't it might not work with our broadhead so we're gonna get this bow set up here at shields tune it figure out my arrow situation because i think i need 300 spines for sure and then we're gonna go back and it's gonna storm the rest of the day but tomorrow we're gonna need to go to the range and do some testing and check some stuff out so i'm not gonna bring the camera into shields just because there's a lot of people here i don't want to make anybody uncomfortable that we have a camera but we will go in here, have some of these experts set this thing up, tune it, and leave here ready to shoot tomorrow. All right, well, it's another day. We had an issue with dropping my stuff off at Shields. Awesome uh, sales associate that took care of me. We got my bow bear shaft tuned, gave me the right stuff. I got the right spine. I got VAP TKO 235 spine. So pretty heavy. Arrows just over 500 grains. Awesome. But the arrows I got fletched, I had to wait five days to pick up because they couldn't get it done in time. And then I got the arrows back, and you can actually see here in this video, all the fletchings were crumpled up, just warped. What they did is they had a rubber band tied around the shafts, and instead of putting it down by the, by the tip or the insert, they had it rubber banded all the way up right next to the fletchings, and they sat there for like five days. So I had to use a heat treatment. Um, I should have boiled water and steamed them, but I was dumb and used a lighter. So most of them turned out. I burnt one of them, but we're going to go to the range in Rice Lake. Rice Lake has a beautiful archery park that is run by the city. And they have awesome 3D targets. They have hay bale targets. It goes all the way out past 80 yards. It's awesome. You can shoot from elevated stands in ground blinds. Awesome place. So if you're local up in the northern 715, it's just off Highway 53. Check it out. Got the axis where it needs to be, which is very low, but I figured that'd be the case. So dialing in our dialing her in at 20 and soon it'd be 40, then 60. Alright, so we got 20 dialed in, and that's so I used the axis. And I have that left at zero. So that means I get the full dial wheel for everything else. Now I'm going to shoot at 40. I need to shoot at 20 and 60. I don't want to shoot at 60 unless I find 40. Otherwise, odds are I'm going to send an arrow over the target. So I'm going to move this from zero. Eyeballing, it's going to be somewhere around 20 to 25 on my original tape. I'm going to shoot at that deer. And if I'm high, then I'll lower it. And if I'm low, I'm going to raise it. Let's see. Well, 
not terrible. 40 yards, two low, one right on. I'm gonna need to shoot one more group there just to figure out if that's where I need to be. 25. That was a mistake. Way better. Money. At 40 yards, my 20 was zero on this dial. My 40 was 25. So I'm assuming that means my 60 is gonna be, let's just try 45 and send it. It probably should be 50. We're gonna try it, see how low I am and move up. So I was right. Dial's at 55, height is just about perfect for 60. I'm not 100% confident, so I'm not gonna lay the 55 tape down, but I need to work on windage, I've been shooting right, so I think that's just me getting used to 75 pounds and an 80% let off, and I shorten my draw too, so everything's a little wonky. I'm gonna go up top and shoot from there. They have an awesome little wood platform up there. You can shoot elevated, it looks like 10 feet tall, so we're gonna go give that a whirl. Time to snipe some deer, huh? Randy. New Matthew Sweet 3X29. I'm confident in it, but I don't want to lay my sight tape yet. I'm gonna come back, shoot tomorrow once I'm rested up, make sure everything's still on where I thought it was, and then lay down my sight tape. But fast, quiet, I love this bow. So honestly, pretty cool, complete granite coat, low pro quiver, it's a dream. So hit that subscribe button right down here. We'll see you guys next time.